Take a look out there at the feeder. The feeder's already gone off and they've cleaned it up. They're kind of hoping Apache will come down and, uh, or I'll go out there and take the strap off that feeder and feed them. But you can see there's one, two, three right there and there's four right there. Uh, one of the bucks did run off. He's probably not very far out there. And then these two up here, Mike, six that's here right now. You can see also that we have rye coming up where we put our humus oil down. We actually put humus oil over the top of that. We've got rye coming in there and uh, the waterless garden. That's what the brand, name, brand will be on that when you look out there on the packages in the stores. You see waterless garden. That's going to green up pretty good right there. And uh, replace fertilizer in the world, I believe. And uh, restore. <laughs> you decide to eat a little bit of the shrub there. Don't you be eating my shrubs, big boy. Yeah, I'll bet you, but <laughs> Benelli, Benelli come over here and said, don't be eating the shrubs. Don't be eating the shrubs. <laughs> oh, goodness. He's going to go back out there with the other ones. They're all wanting some South Fresh deer food. Oh, there's that other buck way off out there. I think it's, the, oh, yeah, that's him. Yeah, that's him way, way off out there. Yeah, look at that big rack. That's buck number seven right there. He's a totally wild buck, and he's just a little nervous with Benelli and I out there. So, we'll look at him. We see, where are you? Where'd he go? Oh, there he went. We see little buddy changing over. To, he's wet from the rain. Changing over from an orangey color of the summer. You see the buck way out there is two three four five six seven look at that your ugly burn barrels there your burn barrels can be really nice and pretty in blue or red or green or whatever they are when you buy empty barrels but once you start burning in them they they quickly change to Redneck burn barrels. <laughs> Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. Look at that. Father and son. Come back behind him, another big one. Fat boy there in the middle. That's fat boy right there. Look at his belly. Goodness sakes alive. And that salt lick. It's got garlic and fly control in it. Keep the flies and ticks off of them. Working exceptionally well. Look at all those deer. Oh my gosh. And rain and cooler weather. It's time for fall fishing. The boys are all here. TC, Red Tag, where's your babies? Red Tag, where's your babies? You got them, you don't let them come up here and eat, do you? You pig, you don't let them come up here and eat, do you? Now, little buddy, I don't know exactly where he is, but I saw him this morning, and it looked like it might be him right out there. It looked like he had scraped all the velvet off his horns. That's not him. That's another wild deer. I don't see little buddy here with this crowd. He's a smaller deer, and so, so he really, that's that fat boy right there. Everybody else does have Everybody else does have uh, hard horns here. Forrest has still got, or got velvet, I mean. Forrest has still got his velvet. It's getting thinner. It thins out a little bit before they start scraping it off. You can see that TC's is a little bit thicker. But I saw, uh, I saw little buddy this morning in the front yard feeding. And uh, looked to me like he had hard horns. Maybe it was just the way that the cloud cover was or something. I don't know, but I sure thought he had hard horns. But everybody else seems to have their velvet, including the star, the celebrity deer, wearing his green crown, Mr. Forrest. You big, fat, pretty thing, you. You're a dandy. Well, there's some wild deer there, a couple of them, and also some other deer. It looked to me like, as I was looking, it looked to me like one of those wild deer had a forest, a forest, 
Take a little closer look at them. That one may have hard horns. I don't think so. Forest does not. That boy does not. TC does not. And that's little buddy. Noticeably smaller than everybody else. I don't think he does either. I swear when I looked out the window a minute ago from in the house, I thought it looked like that. Actually, it looked like Forrest. Had completely. Or that other deer, fat boy. But he hasn't. I guess it's just the way the sun was hitting it. That other big deer, that might have been the deer I was looking at. There was, there was one deer that looked like all the velvet was gone off of his antlers. I don't think that he is, though. I think he, I don't know. I think he's still got velvet, though. And he's not nearly as large as Forrest. You can see Forrest. And Forrest still got, I sure thought I saw Buddy this morning had that off, but looking over at Buddy, wherever he is, right there. I don't know. Well, we will get a closer look in the next day or two, I'm sure. God, isn't that beautiful right there? Isn't that beautiful? My goodness. That's a, that's three aces right there for sure. Put a couple kings or queens with that. You got a full house. A pair of anything. I guess you could put the other pair with it there and make a full house. see though that fat boy's antlers do look a little different but I think it's just the way the sunlight was hitting them got this cloud cover rolling around look at those clouds back there will you absolutely gorgeous kind of stormy looking but actually just beautiful back in that area where those are I'm sure people getting some rain down south all those white birds roosting in those trees there I don't really think those are fish-eating birds. I think those are cowbirds. Feed on insects and stuff. Just roosting over there. Not sure. But golly. What a sight this is. I brought a bag of carrots out here. Now you look at look at TC's antlers the way I look at them right there. Doesn't those look like they're white on the back side? I need to turn that way a little bit too. I don't know. We'll get them up close sometime this week and see if September 1 is when the velvet starts getting rubbed off. See if I can talk Forrest into coming up here close to eat a carrot. I threw a couple. I threw a couple carrots down. I talked to him and he finally looked up. He's been eating like crazy, but I, <laughs> I threw two carrots down. I don't have this on a tripod. I'm operating handheld. Boy, he came right over for those carrots. And you can see that he has uh, definitely still got his velvet. He knew I threw two. Trying to smell it there. <laughs> he saw that one fall. Went over and got it. <laughs> more, Jimmy, more. Look at that deer. too close. Let me throw them a little further out there. You can't see you when you're that close, buddy. He says, you want me to come up there on the deck and eat them out of your hand? I can do that, too. <laughs> you're in the carrot patch, aren't you? Where'd that one go? Hmm? that one go you're supposed to find them not just look around use your nose you dropped that one right at my feet didn't you hey well, you, got, you got you there's three of them down there right now there's three of them down there Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> you, know, you wouldn't make a very good Labrador. You don't pay attention to things going through the air. Are you trying to trick me while you just I'm throwing more down? Go look for the ones that's down there. There's five laying down there already, boy. There's five laying down there already. Go find those. <laughs> he says, I know where they are, Jimmy. I'm just trying to trick you into throwing more carrots. I know where all five of those are. Yes, I do. <laughs> You're a pretty smart boy. Oh, that's a big carrot there. That's a big long one. Wow. Two baby ones. Two baby ones grew together, I guess. He still got velvet. Pretty slick velvet though, so it surely won't be too much longer. Too much longer and it's gone. <laughs> what do you think, big boy? Nice being special, isn't it, huh? All right, I'm gonna throw a couple more down there, and that's all you get right now. Kind of four or five bags. I gotta have enough to last a week, to be able to feed everybody else. Okay, boy, that's enough. Thanks for coming up here. Thank you. <laughs> well, my little buck bunch been joined I've been joined by a couple of girls I don't know exactly who they are or maybe just one girl yeah just one girl that's red tag looks like I think I can see that red tag shining in her left ear she's already put her babies to bed evidently it's amazing she doesn't keep them with her all the time but she sure doesn't Oh, yeah, go ahead and pee. Nasty girl. What a week of antlers that was. You know, there was times when we had six, seven bucks out here at the house at the same time. I don't know if I ever saw eight, but I know I saw at least seven, and I saw six. We got, actually, we've only got three bucks that, uh, that are that were born in the pen the other bucks that are hanging around are all wild bucks and uh now normally we've got uh normally we've got forrest and tc father and son and then a little buddy who was born in the pen and i can feed him by hand occasionally you know it depends on how bad he wants a carrot forrest i can feed him one just about all the time i could call him to me just rattling <laughs> rattling the carrot bag and he catches a whiff of smell of those carrots as well but uh, so that means we've got three or four other bucks. Fat boy comes around and he's pretty docile and gentle, but he's totally wild. We've got three or four other bucks that were born in the wild that are coming around to the house and coming around quite a bit. And we will probably start here a little bit later, start seeing a lot more uh, bucks coming around, a lot more does coming around, because as the rut gets started, which is it's still a month away, a good month away, probably the end of October, maybe uh, toward the middle of October, maybe something like that. Uh, it just sort of depends on how the weather goes and what the moon is. I haven't even really checked, but anyway, it should. Uh, uh, we we hit a full moon there in late October. I think that's when the rut's going to start begin to start. But uh, of course, they still don't have most of them. I thought that little buddy had his uh, velvet gone, but he doesn't. But uh, but we'll see more bucks and more does as they start moving around. We'll see more does come in here. We'll see some outside bucks come in that are looking for does, and we've got a lot of does. And so you got a lot of does, you're gonna have quite a few bucks. It's kinda of like if you got a lot of bait fish, you're gonna have bass around. Anyway, that'll wrap us up for this week's antlers. So uh, we got another great uh, antlers plan planned for next week, I'm sure, because as long as the deer cooperate, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot a video of them. Guys and girls, go out there and have you a great one. Fish lucky, and remember, I sure do love you.